the Equal Pay Act. Okay. Well, the federal judge concluded that any differences in payment structure between the men's and women's CBAs were the result of the specific terms the players and their union agreed upon, not discrimination from the U.S. soccer. He also wrote that between that period of 2015 and 2019, the women's national team was paid more than the men's national team on both a total and per game basis. Oh. But they guess they just didn't have in their bonus plan that if they won the World Cup, that they would get so much money. Well, that'll be in the next one, damn it. So, yeah, make it in your next one. But don't go, well, if we would have been the men's team and been successful as men, then we would have had their contract and it would have been this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then, uh, but you can't base it off somebody else's contract. This is a great little uh, setup. Um, I'm not selling speakers with it, um, but um, it works fine. It's well made. Uh, these are this is when Technic still was uh, making things out of Japan. Uh, you get into the mid '90s and or or later, and then all the stuff starts being from other places outside of Japan. But this was still made there, so this is very good quality. Uh, when I was taking apart the cassette deck and I was pulling out uh, the the wheel that had the uh, the tape uh, belt um, that was pure metal pure aluminum and usually when you get those they're made out of um, they're made out of plastic so this is very well made um, it's got lots of features in it uh, and the t and both tape decks work uh, I actually didn't get a chance to show that So it worked great. Not asking a lot for it because I'm sure that if I sold every component independently, I'd probably get, you know, at least 80 bucks for the, for the amp and probably, you know, 20 to 30 for each component. Turntable will probably, I could probably sell that for 40, uh, but I'm selling everything for 150, which I think is a steal. Um, because you don't find this kind of quality anymore. Uh, this, the model number is RS-TR333. A great little cassette deck. Um, I went ahead and uh, fixed the belts on it. Uh, the, they were just When I bought it, it was just not moving at all. Um, but everything else works great on it. Um, I'll put a tape in there. So you're able to adjust uh, the balance, uh, recording level, bias adjustment, which a lot of tape players don't really don't usually have. And you get uh, Dolby B, Dolby C. Uh, you're able because it's out of reverse. You are you are able to loop it. Uh, and then you got the synchro start, and you have the other tape deck that you can record off on. Uh, but it's a great tape player made in Japan. The CD player is a Technics uh, SL PG440. Uh, great little CD player. Uh, it's got uh, your typical uh, controls. Uh, open, eject, skip, stop, pause, play. Uh, you could also... Uh, use this with the tape player and you are able to uh, synchronize your tapes so if you're recording off a cd you can edit it or synchronize it uh, i'll put this cd in
great CD player, uh, real old school uh, with the single disc. Most of the time you get the five disc changer, um, which some people like, some people don't. I personally like just a single disc. Um, it just makes it seem like it's a component just for uh, playing CDs versus using it to play CDs at a party or something like that. Uh, it's even got a headphone jack, which is nice. Got the Technics uh, DC Servo Automatic Turntable System SL-L20. This is a, a linear tracking turntable, 30 centimeters, 17 centimeters. Um, and then you got your speeds. You got uh, 33 and 45. Um, and it's a great little turntable. Um, these are very nice because you can just uh, throw the record on and uh, let the turntable play it. And it's almost like an automatic turntable. The only difference is that you got your uh, tone arm that uh, aligns perfectly in a linear way, in a linear fashion with the record. Uh, they say that this is probably the best quality of record playing you can get simply because of the fact that uh, the record's being spun and played the way it was made. Uh, so you're gonna get a very clean uh, record when you play it on this turntable. Uh, it does have a repeat function and it's got cueing. So if you do wanna skip over a song, you can. Um, and you can also have the option of having the record uh, play in the loop over and over again, which is kind of nice. And you don't usually get this with automatic turntables. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and play it. So you can see the tone arm, the platter starts spinning, the tone arm moves. So you can see the tone arm can be controlled. So as you can see the record's ending and I got the repeat function on there. So what it'll do is uh, it'll put the tone, tone arm all the way back. Okay, and it'll start it right back up again without having to do anything. So some of the inputs that each component has, uh, the turntable has, uh, I believe, uh, regular AVs for a record player and it's got this proprietary grounding cable um, grounding cable came with the turntable, so I got lucky on that. Uh, and it does have a, a cable so, or an input so that you can actually hook up a remote if you're able to find a remote for this component. Um, I also got the CD player. Uh, C CD player has an input for the uh, synchronizing, so if you want to hook it up with your tape player, you can and synchronize it. You got the uh, out, and then you also have a remote. Actually, no, I take that back. This one doesn't have the remote input. I think you, this one you can control with uh, the remote without it. Uh, this is uh, the tape player, tape deck, and it's got for your line in. So if you can hook up your CD player directly into this and uh, sorry, you could you can hook up your tape player into the amplifier so that you can access any of the uh, attached components. And then you've got an extra uh, power supply plug so that you can plug in either the turntable or the CD player. And you got the remote control uh, plug that I mentioned. 
and then you have the back of the amplifier uh, you got your uh, phono this is the antenna the antennas right here it didn't come attached when I bought it but I'm sure you could just hang it somewhere um, and then you got your other inputs uh, the CD and there's your ground for the uh, turntable and then you got your remote control plug and then you got your uh, speakers your A and your B's right now I have it plugged in to the B's I think or the A I'm not sure and then you got the extra plug for the amplifier so that you can plug in extra components and the way that works, if I can get through here, is you could have your your uh, stereo and all that plugged in, and the power on your, but then you could just push power, and it'll turn everything off. So that's actually kind of like a nice thing. So you don't have to worry about turning each component every single time. It'll just turn everything off if you want it or turn it all on at the same time for you. Okay, there's the power indicator on the turntable. So you turn it off and it turns off.